Okay guys, a little update for you on the new approach here. I've been working on trying to make this a mobile setup and I was gonna split this battery bank and um, look at, you know, trying to find a, 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 an inverter that I could run just two of them and, and get something done with it, but you really need the 2000 watts. And so what that's brought me to is instead of going out and buying another inverter and another controller, I think we're gonna change this whole approach. I'm going to move this setup into the garage and it's all this is fantastic right so the thing I really love about this this is my transfer switch and what it says is that once the batteries have gotten down to a certain level we're going to switch power from the inverter and go back to using the house but what's amazing about this one is that if I turn it off it just operates like a bypass so um, what's happening is this is coming from the house this is coming from the inverter. And it says, okay, if I've got power coming in here at the right levels, I'm gonna let this flow and go out to these outlets. Okay, and then whatever I've got plugged in here is powered by this. If it sees that the batteries have gotten too low, it switches and brings the power from this to this. So you're getting right from the house. But what's amazing is that when you turn this off, if you don't have your inverters in place or anything, it operates as a bypass and just lets your, uh, your house power run this. So I think, you know, I'm looking at my house and there's certain things in there I'd like to run all the time. My kitchen fridge, my TVs in the living room, kitchen lights. Um, on each bedroom, I want an outlet under the windows that I would use for the little uh, window units if we've lost power. I would never try to run the main air conditioner, but I'm gonna move this into the house. I'm gonna go ahead and install a sub panel and have the sub panel driven by this. I'm gonna take this and this and put them into a mobile setup and I'm gonna buy an all-in-one. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the 24 watt. I'll show you the one I'm thinking about. It'll be linked in the, uh, down below. Um, it's a fantastic deal. Um, and I think I'm gonna get an all-in-one and have that feeding this, which will feed a sub panel because I, th I think with the all-in-one, when you turn it off, I'm not sure if it's a bypass. And that's the key, right? So if I was to mount this, feeding that sub panel, and then I wanted to take away my solar, all I'd have to do is turn that off. And um, it would <laughs> it's still gonna run. So, but either way, just looking at the pricing, uh, this item that I'm looking at, I've, I've got a video of a guy installing it and look great. He says the components are all comparable to the Sun Gold, which is, uh, one of the more popular ones out there right now, but this looks terrific. And I'm going to go ahead and have that trying to feed a sub panel. And then I will take this and this and have those be used for my um, little mobile setup because 2000 is what I need. So, uh, and the, the all in one is coming with an, an 80 amp MPPT controller. It comes with a 3000 watt inverter. It comes with a 40 amp battery charger and a built-in transfer switch. Um, it's just an incredible price. And you're getting all that for around, for less than 500 bucks. Uh, or to go out and buy one of these, this is like 300 bucks. That's another 140 bucks. It just, it doesn't make sense at the moment not to try one of these all-in-ones. So I'm gonna give that a shot. That's the approach. That's what's gonna be happening. Uh, stay tuned and I will show you as it comes in. I'm excited about it. This is the unit I'm gonna go with here, um, only because they've got the 80 amp MPPT. The other guys on, at the 24 volt, this kind of a setup, are at 60, and for the same number, or even a little bit more. And so same 3000 watt, 24 volt, but they only do 60 amps, and this is an 80 amp. So why not increase your options? It's got the same, same uh, charger, and what a fantastic price. I think this, this little guy might even be wireless. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter because I'll be linking it to the servo anyway, just so I can uh, do some uh, immediate tracking. So I think I'm gonna put this in place. And uh, even if I just put it out there in the current setup, uh, just so I can uh, test it before putting it in a sub panel, but this is amazing. I mean, you go out to a 3000 watt inverter is like 300 bucks. Um, the a 20 amp controller, is another 160 bucks right there. You know, <laughs> why not just get, even if I only use it for the controller and the inverter, it's, uh, it's a great deal. 
So I'm going to try this. Stay tuned. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm looking forward to trying to uh, setting it up and testing it.